So we have a problem. Let me show you. Let me show you. I've been thinking about this. This toilet is cream. This is a major problem. This toilet is cream. We need a white toilet. We are way over budget. We can't buy a white toilet. No, nothing is wrong with this toilet. But I have an idea. It might sound crazy. But guess what? Maybe we can spray this toilet. What do you think? Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with episode 3 of Ugliest Bathroom Makeover. And with that introduction, you know what I'm about to do. I'm going to spray this toilet and face basil. I know it sounds crazy, but these colors are not in my color scheme. So I'm going to spray them in white. Remember, this is my mood board and I'm trying so much to stick to the board. If you haven't seen episode 2, here's a recap. I tiled the bathroom. I did the entire shower wall. I did the shower floor, the niche, the toe wall. And I also tiled the bathroom floor. Now let's get back to this week's episode. Come on and prove it. I'm sanding them with a 320 sandpaper just to create a surface for adhesion. Initially, I was going to prime them, but I was instructed by a edge chem sales rep that I don't have to prime them. So let us see if it's going to work out. After a few months, I'll give you a review and let you know how well they hold up. Um, a lot of person was saying that the paint is going to strip, even myself, but I don't know. I'm just trying, guys. So let us see. guys i'm about to take on this task for the first time i'm a bit nervous because i don't want the paint to run on the toilet but anyhow let's get right into it so these are the items that i'll be using so you know the first thing the ppes my gloves mask my goggles and see i have a measuring cup an edge cam measuring cup and the paint of course so this is the white the white enamel paint car paint and this is the reducer the reducer and this is the hardener and of course my spray gun so let's get right into it the, the ratio that I'll be mixing is four to one to one I don't under fully understand how to use a measuring cup but i was instructed by the sales rep you know how to use it because maybe if i was gonna use it i'll put four here then maybe put in one or one i don't know but i was instructed to look in the four to one to one line and then i would put the paint to two put the hardener to two and put the reducer to two so that is that is the ratio for the four to one to one if i wanted to mix more i would do three 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 four 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 so thank god for this measuring cup um even though i know four to one to one ratio maybe i'll just put get another cup put four so if you don't have this cup um what i would have done i would have just put say four quarts say i'm gonna mix mix um certain amount i would mix four quarts i would add four quarts of white one quart of reducer and one quart of hardener that was how i was planning to do it but i got this cup you know thank god for this cup so this is a good measuring cup all right i've poured the paint now i'm pouring the hardener after which i'll pour the reducer ensure that the measuring cup is on a flat level surface now i'm gonna mix it and pour it in the spray gun Sound, rescue me before I drown. 
before I start the spraying I'm using the compressor with some air just to get rid of any dust particle that may be still sitting on the surface When using a spray gun, there are certain techniques that should be observed, like um, maintaining a consistent distance, keep the gun perpendicular to the work, overlap each pass by 50%. But guys, to be honest with you, I wasn't even applying those techniques. All I know is that I was keeping the gun at a certain distance. I sprayed like I was just painting painting you know painting because I wanted a certain amount of coverage and I feel that even doing the first coat I wasn't getting much coverage the toilet still didn't look white but as I continued you know making doing a lot of coats I could see the color coming together there's a video on my channel with me spraying a dresser. I'll link the video on the screen now. I gave detailed explanation for using a spray gun. So I would recommend that you follow those techniques. Guys, I'm on the third coat now. I didn't leave them to dry in between the coats for any specific time. What I did was to spray them in sequence. So after I finished one sequence, immediately after, I just went and I did another coat, then another coat. And what I realized is that uh, mixing it with the edge chem container, the 4 to 1 to 1 ratio, at a proportion of 2, I got 3 coats out of that mix and that was just a small amount of mixture. So the mixture goes a far way. Oh, we've been through it. We put in the hours, studied and hunkered down, patched up and glued it to get to where we are. So guys, I must say I gave them four coats. So they are finished now, so I'm just gonna leave them to be dried. I am not seeing much sheen. I'm not sure if it has something to do with the temperature. I know the sun is hot, but I am under a little shaded, shaded area. I don't know if after they are dried, the sheen will come up some more, but I like the look. I got the color that I want. They are looking lovely. This is the end of the video, guys. Um, this video is just a short video in the next episode you will get more you will see me putting in these toilets installing the glass and you know doing more in the bathroom thank you guys for watching and bye i'll see you in the next episode